You may have a sense of déjà vu about the 2013 Etape de Tour. That's because the 17th stage of the 1998 Tour de France was going to follow a very similar route. That's until a rider's strike uh, sparked by the Festina affair interfered with the stage. There were a couple of sit-down protests and a go slow. The route was going to be Albertville, the Seminoles, uh, Col de Pré, and then, as we can see now, up the river, and then the descent down to aix les Bam. This year's stage starts in Annecy, and uh, follows the lake for a few kilometres before tackling the first couple of easy climbs of the day at saint joriaz The first of these is the Côte de Pouge, which uh, is 5.5 kilometres, 5.4 kilometres at 5.8 percent, and that's followed by the Côte de Lesio, which is uh, 3.6 kilometres at 6.2 percent. If you look at the uh, profile, the the red, the darker the colours get, the steeper the climb is. You can see it's a fairly easy start. Start of the climbs north facing up through some woods, so it's fairly cool. And there's uh, views over of uh, Annecy Lake. There's also a few narrow sections, so it's worth getting ahead of your pen at this point of the climb without uh, blowing yourself up on the first coal. Uh, this could cause some bottlenecks. So, um, Behind me is the Col de Show, and uh, down here in front is the road down to Belcourt into the Bauge. It's uh, reasonably, well, it's quite a good descent initially, a couple of hairpins, and uh, takes us down to Belcourt and then to Le Châtelard. There's a little climb between Belcourt and Le Châtelard. Here we are in Le Châtelard, there's a couple of traffic hunts coming out on this long straight descent down. Uh, down to the River Charan, the bridge that we cross over. So that's Le Semnoz, and we've um, descended down this big wide valley through Belcoum, a little climb up uh, to Le Châtelard, and then uh, this road here. There's a couple of steep sections on the Col du Pré on the climb up there. Just before you get into Ayon le Vieux, there's a kilometre of uh, more than 8%. Then there's a the descent down to Ayon le Jeune, and uh, the three kilometres up to the Col du Pré, there's uh, there's some sections of 8 to 10%. Uh, the overall, it's 6.5% over 3.5 kilometres for the Col du Pré. It's actually getting dark at the Col du Pré because I started in Chambry. I did the course the other way around. So we're now here at Saint Jean d'Arvy, which is this point here, and we've got the first big climb. I don't remember it being too steep, but uh, first really major climb of the day. Right up uh, into those mountains. So you can see, just come out of Saint Jean d'Arvy, there's a little section, and then uh, through the um, the series of villages called uh, Le Désert. You then climb up to the Col de Plan Palais, a uh, flat section to Le Fecla, and a little climb up to Le Reva. So we just, here we are at the Col de Plan Palais. It's uh, three kilometers up there to La Fecla and six kilometers or nine kilometers to Le Reva. <laughs> so after the Col de Plan Palais, there's this little flat section, which is uh, gives you time to relax, loosen the legs up. Time to get some food in, drink a little bit uh, before the short climb from La Fecla up to Le Reva. So we're just coming through the little ski resort closed at the moment of La Fecla. The big centre for cross country skiing. Here on the left is a monument to the resistance. Bow's a big uh, centre for the resistance throughout the wall. 
the RAF used to drop arms up on the plateau here, Plateau de Glier as, as well. And there behind Montmagre. So we've got uh, six kilometers up to Le Rebain. And you can see the road isn't in a fantastic state here. Not too bad as we're climbing. And obviously on the sport team, you may have a bit more choice about your line as the roads will be closed. So there we see the summit of Le Ravois, which has been used in the Tour de France. And it's a fairly easy climb up from La Fecla. But uh, don't forget on the day it's south facing, uh, or despite the trees at the end, uh, it could be quite tough with the sun. Then down there in the smog is the Lac de Bourget. And then we just continue up a few kilometers to the Col. There's nothing uh, particular that marks the Col. And then down on the other side, the trees open out a little bit for a few meters, and uh, we get our first view of uh, Le Mont Blanc. The descent down from uh, the Reva is through some forest, apart from a few open sections, and it, uh, there's some big sweeping corners which can be taken very quickly. There's not much in the way you need to see until you get down to the end, um, so uh, it's not exactly my favourite descent. So we've just come down from the Revoir through the forest and uh, there's left hand hairpin and then just after very short straight this is chapel white chapel and you do a very sharp right uh, which takes you off on a rolling road to Montcel, Pont de Bime and uh, to Cantal possibly the jewel in the crown of this sportive is the traverse of the Pont de la Bime on the suspension bridge it's over 100 years old and it uh, traverses 100 meters above the, the river the river Cherin which we crossed earlier on in the day uh, between Châtelard and Ayon le Lejeune it's uh, pretty impressive you have to be careful here though because if you come in quickly it's a narrow bridge and uh, the riders will funnel into this also, the surface on the bridge isn't uh, fantastic. There's then a short climb up through cliffs and then to Gruffy and come down. Okay. You see the climb up to the Simnels, uh, lots of red in there. Um, it's quite steep through the visual contour, uh, flat a bit, and then steep up through the woods, sh flattens off a little bit, and then coming up through the ski resort of Le Simnoz, uh, there's some steep sections again. Uh, it's really it's a thousand meters, quite a tough climb here. Here we are, the chateau on the right of Contal, and uh, then we come out of Contal. There's a water point here, and. Uh, quite steep up through the woods here. Uh, I had to be in a fairly low gear for this and imagine you're, you've got 120 kilometers in the legs, you're going to be fairly tired. So we're talking about 8% here. A little bit more maybe in the, in the wooded section. And here we've come out of the ski resort and again a very steep little section here and then the first views we've been in trees and woods until here and then the first views of the day of the uh, climb here on the left we see Le Mont Blanc and the whole Alpine range all snow covered here in mid-November you see Swiss and Italian Alps fantastic view a fantastic clear day there's the Bouge in front of us that we skied this morning 
And here we are, just coming back to the Col of the Seminoles. Day's nearly over. 130 kilometres, 3,500 metres or so. Just the last, last little effort here. You'll be feeling tired. And there we see the summit of the Seminoles on the left and the road that comes round, the Mont Blanc, and the whole Alpine uh, massive. And that's the descent which I recommend taking back to the uh, back to the start. A couple of newspapers great for keeping you warm on the descents.